the one step that saved my life, literally. What is happening? Somebody like you crew today, what we're talking about is the five ways to improve yourself today. Coming in at number one, filter that dang content you're watching. If you're watching drama filled TV, drama filled content, drama filled, drama filled, drama filled, stress inducing things, you know what's going to happen? You're going to get stress, overstimulated, anxious, and it's going to negatively impact your mental health. So remember, filtering the content is crucial because nowadays we spend so much time receiving information all the time, all the time. So remember, where we place our attention is what we're going to give back in return. So start treating your attention as if it is currency. Where you place your money is the things you are buying. What was step one? Filter the content. And step number two? Dedicate time for mindfulness and meditation. Now, I know mindfulness and meditation has been really buzzwordy over the past probably 10 years, but let's simplify it. Let's find what mindfulness and meditation looks like for you. Because mindfulness and meditation isn't always sitting cross-legged on a beanbag chair or a floor and closing your eyes and sitting in stillness. There's other ways to meditate and be mindful. For instance, you can meditate while you're mowing the grass. You can meditate while you're doing the dishes, while you're going for drives. You can be meditative and mindful in those moments. And here's how. A great way to come back to the present moment is focusing on your breath. So when you breathe in, you can feel that air, that cool air hitting your nose. You can feel your stomach rising, your chest rising. That's the present moment. And when you focus on that present moment, you're being still, you're being present. Now we often confuse meditative and mindfulness for feeling good, feeling still, feeling zen. Sometimes we feel like crap in those moments. The act of being mindful and the act of being meditative doesn't mean you feel good. It means you feel as you feel. And you aren't looking to be anywhere else but where you are. A bonus tip here, practice it consistently. Coming in at number three is movement. Now, I chose not to say exercise because we all start in different places. So if you're just starting out and looking to maybe move for two to three days for 10 minutes, that's a success, especially if you start at zero. Remember, all of these things of improving yourself are small steps to climb mountains. Because if you're just trying to get right into the gym, right into running, you're going to putter out. If you're trying to run two miles a day and you haven't been running ever, right? So start small, two days a week for 10 minutes. The most important part is showing up because if you practice the art of showing up, that in itself will be the biggest improvement in your life for the rest of your life. Number four, read. Now, if you're anything like me, now I know the name says somebody like you, so I'm venturing to say some of you might relate to this. You didn't like to read in school, so you kind of got a bad taste for reading in your mouth because you didn't like being forced to read things you had maybe little to no interest in. What I've learned, I just didn't like being told what to do when I didn't want to do it. I have found reading has provided me knowledge, wisdom, and more self-help than any book I ever read in school. So if you're just starting out and you're looking for book recommendations, I will provide them in the links below. Because I know when I started, people recommending me books that were in my line of interest, such as self-help, mental health, consciousness, being present, spirituality, those types of things, it started me on an accelerated course to where I am now. And now, my absolute favorite, the one that the one step that saved my life literally was stopping negative self talk. And you might be asking, well, I'm just kidding. Your subconscious mind doesn't know that. When you stop self negative talk, 
you are instantly becoming a better version of yourself because your subconscious mind is always listening. So whether you think you're being funny and making fun of yourself and a whole room of people laugh and you think you're the funny person, your subconscious mind goes, ah, I am stupid. Ah, I'm not good enough. Your subconscious mind is always listening. So if you're quick to get angry at yourself or you're quick to judge yourself, you're quick to make a joke about yourself. Now is the time just to learn to observe it and then start replacing it. Those are five incredibly simple ways you can start improving yourself today. The key is consistently showing up for yourself. So if you're only able to tackle one of these this week, start there. That's a step in the right direction. It's positive momentum. So remember, there's no step too small to improving yourself. Because when you show up for yourself, you're improving yourself. Thank you for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe. And most importantly, remember to love yourself and love others. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Peace out.